What's happening gamers? It's KY here. Hope everyone's day is going great today. Today I'm going to be checking out a fun and very furry game called Cat Cafe. <laughs> and um, this game is about exactly what it says. It's about making a cat cafe. That's a cafe where you serve food, but you can also kind of pet cats while you're at it, while you're eating, and the cats come up to you and it's a lot of fun. Um, so we're going to be making one of those cafes in this game. So I'm super excited about it. And this game was produced by Freedom Games and developer Roost Games. It came out for the Nintendo Switch in April of 2022. And it is also available on PC and it's about $20 on the Nintendo Switch. So let's get right into it. We're gonna make our very own cat cafe. Now I have been uh, dilly-dallying a little bit in this game and trying to figure out how it works so I'm not completely new to it but as soon as I started doing that I quickly became very addicted to the game so I will tell you this game is a lot of fun. I don't have fun at every game that I play. News, news flash. Um, some of them I kind of have to, you know, force myself to like a little bit more, but this one is a lot of fun and I highly recommend it. Only $20, you really can't go wrong. So let's get right into it. You've traveled all the way from the city to Catterwall Way. It's a small countryside town hidden far from the bustle of the city. You hardly even remember the town. Don't take it too hard. You were a baby. All right, so here's where you can choose. Dad never mentioned how pretty it was or mom always seemed to miss this place. Mm, I'm gonna say mom always seemed to miss this place. Granny stayed when you left. It's only now that you know why. Turns out she was running a business. Oh, okay, that's why Granny stayed. <laughs> ah, you've arrived. Wasn't there supposed to be a building here? There's a big man clumsily running around, rummaging around the field. He's all chafed, knuckles, and smiling eyes. Uh, are you supposed to be here? Uh, my grand's letter asked me to come. Oh, your nan's to a little tyke. I should have known. Sorry to scare ye. I am Bonner. I was a good friend of your grand's. Couldn't complete. With, couldn't compete with your cats though. Ha 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 ha! Wink. What's her name? Ah, what's your name? Let me have a good look at ye. All right. So basically. You can make your character every time that this, I just actually started three seconds ago and it started me with completely different look. So this will randomly select a character. So in no way is this always the starting at all. So you can start with any uh, skin tone, any hairstyle and um, hair color. So let's see if I can try to make um, myself look somewhat like my, myself. We'll see. Okay, I think I would probably wear a ponytail, and that kind of looks like my hair color. Um, and all right, I think that it's like different. Um, yeah, there's a lot of different skin tones that you can have. So I don't really see the difference. Oh, that's like super pale versus kind of pale. Okay, so there's like tons of different skin tones and hairstyles and hair you can have. And I don't want to have my name be player, so I'll just call myself Ambi YouTube, I guess. I don't know if they'll fit. I think I called myself Amber YouTube last time, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling perfect and fancy free because I'm going to be spending time with some virtual cats. <laughs> And my cat's lying down next to me like, why don't you spend time with me? Look, ah, look at ye. Even, ye even got your granny's eyes. Ah, Nain was always talking about ye. Said that even as a little babe, she liked how ye were, so... You were so... Oh, so you have... Were you so gentle? Social butterfly? Or gourmet? 
You enjoy eating food almost as much as you enjoy making it. Or gentle. I'm gonna say gentle. I'm, I think that if I'm gonna run a cat cafe, I need to be gentle with the cats first most. So we're gonna say that. Ah, so did Nain's letter uh, say why she wanted you to come here? All right, I am really bad with accents, so just bear this in mind. Ha, huh, I knew it. Let me help you set up. First things first, let's pick a good name. All right, so we're going to pick a different name for our cat cafe. Um, uh, I, I wasn't even thinking. I don't even remember what, um, what I called it last time. Paws and pudding. I don't know. I don't really know if that's a good name. It's just like picked up. Uh, I just thought of it at the top of my head. And I am having a little scratchy throat. So just so you know, my throat will probably sound better as these episodes go on. Oh, how about pause in the pudding? <laughs> no. How about um, a... Um, oh my gosh. I can't think of a good name. Um, paws and treats, paws, paws and eats, eats and, eat, eat, eh. paws and eats. I don't know. You know what? We're calling it pause in the pudding because why not? I don't know. That's the name I was thinking of. It doesn't really sound good health wise, but All right, let's see. We're calling it pause in the pudding. There we go. Pause in the pudding. Uh, hopefully that's all right. Pause in the pudding. Ah, such a clever cat-based pun. Unless it's not a pun, wouldn't know. I've been pumped up since age four. You hear the telltale sound of meowing cats. Three little fur balls poke their heads past the trees. Ooh. It's some of the many stray cats which roam Ketterwall. This is a perfect opportunity to adopt a cat, Amby YouTube. Need cats for a cafe after all. Hopefully I spelled pause right. Yep, yeah, okay, I did. Ah, uh, you only have room for just one now? You can expand the cafe and take these other two off the street later. Okay, so you can pick, um, this one is chill, this one is very clean, and this one has a tiny tummy. They don't need to eat a lot. Um, I'm gonna go with this orange guy. He looks, he's chill, so we're gonna try that first. Um, I'm gonna name my cat, so you can name them whatever you want. Like, his name started out as Ezra. I'm gonna name him Pumpkin, because he's orange. So you can basically, you could name your cat Garfield, or you could name it your own cat's name. And there are so many different kinds of cats in this game, so you'll be surprised. And they all have their different personalities, so that's a lot of fun. And then we just push Y to adopt, and there we go. Pumpkin! Haha, <laughs> they seem to trust you, MB YouTube. Ye got your grand feline charms, you do. As you can see, the cafe is a teeny bit destroyed by a storm. However, I'll save some of the furniture. We received a bunch of shabby looking furniture. You probably need more chairs though. You can buy some more at Graf's decorations in town. All right, I'll be sure to check in on you later. For now, good luck in turning this field into cozy little cafe. All right. Hello, dear. I hope this notebook helps you along your way. Your goal is to delight your customers. Your customers will have needs which, when fulfilled, increase their satisfaction. If your customers leave satisfied, they'll gain more heart delight points and also give you, res give you more resources for you to expand your cat cafe with. Cats make your uh, customers happy by meeting their cat need but also have their own needs that you will need to fulfill, like food and stuff like that. 
Staff automatically performs tasks around the cafe, but they will be useful when your cafe gets bigger. Furniture, each piece of furniture has stats which affect your cafe. Some customers have needs tied to the furniture, so pay attention. Yeah, some uh, people need more comfortable uh, places to sit down, so definitely they need that. Okay. Resources. There are many resources to use to expand your cat cafe. Let's talk about and take a look at them. Fabric you can uh, is spent on chairs and tables. Nectar is spent on food and recipes. Fish spends on cat materials and stray lures um, and toys. Gems are spent on nice decorations. Gold is the highest quality furniture to purchase and materials are spent on building more, expanding the size of your cafe um, when building floors. All right, awesome. Oh my gosh, so move around, zoom in and out with R, inspect mode with Z, R, and perform tasks with Y. Tasks will appear around your cat. They can range from t taking an order to petting a cat, hold the button to perform them, push Z, R down to inspect mode, Use inspect mode to check out the stats of whatever you're near. Oh, interesting. So you can check out the stats of your customer, what they need if they're uncomfortable in their chair or something like that. All right, and we already did research and uh, I think we're good then. Okay, so let's see if we can uh, go over to here. You don't have any lures right now. So first thing is first, they want us to build a uh, cafe. So let's go down here. We've got ZL and we're going to try decorating. Okay. So it looks like, okay. So I don't know if it will let us build any, um, all right. So it will actually let us build this for zero. That's good. Um, or you can build this for 10. So I don't know how many build points we have, but we're just going to try building somewhere. So this is our cat over here. We're going to try um, building a cafe. So we're just going to start putting ground here. And at the very beginning, you really do um, run out of this um, really fast. So you do want to start your cafe really small to begin with. And if you m m mess up, you can actually erase something. There we go. So the controls are pretty, um, pretty easy. Okay, here we go. We're going to go build again and I'm just going to, I'm going to keep building until, okay, so I ran out and I am actually going to. I'm going to get rid of that because I, I want, I want our cafe to, um, I want to be able to put like a table and chairs in there or something like that. So, um, let's see. All right. So, and I don't really know what I would use for the stone path. Maybe I could use that for outside here. I don't know. Okay, that's kind of neat. So now uh, let's see if I can make my... Um, now we're going to need an entrance. So it looks like they have the ugly entrance that they give you at the beginning. We'll put that right there. Now we have an entrance. And we have two windows. So we can put one here and one over here. Um, we also have a rug so we can stick it right in the entrance way. Um, we have one cat food bowl so we'll stick it over here for our cat. And we have one table so I'm going to stick it over here and we have a couple chairs. One chair here and oh okay I kind of uh, really need to move my food bowl in the corner then. Okay, so actually, 
Um, I'm gonna move, um, let's see, we're gonna add another chair over here. So now we have three chairs and we need a sink so we can make some food. And we have one bouquet of flowers, so that's pretty cute. We can either put it right outside um, or whatever we want. And also we can decorate the walls with whatever we want to decorate it with. So I guess I'll just put this pink color on the walls like that. And just so you guys know, I did kind of mess around with this game a little bit before. So this is actually a really good size. It won't let me add anything else to the cafe right now. So this is all we can really do. And we have to wait until we have customers before we can actually get a lot more things. So. Um, as you can see, the decoration thing is all gone, so we don't have any other resources for decorating. So we added everything that we got um, into our cafe. So let's see, he says he wants water, so I guess everyone is just going to order water um, for now. And then we'll go over to the sink and get this guy some water. And he should be able to give us, not everyone pays in money, some people pay in other things. So hopefully he'll, he gave, he's, um, he's happy about that. And I'm trying to figure out how to do the inspect mode, but I'll figure that out later. Um, cause I don't think I really figured that out last time. Oh, there we go. So ZR inspect mode. So he is somewhat happy, pretty happy. And this guy is... He's kind of, he's not, not happy or sad. Hi. He's all right. <laughs> all right, and here is a lady. Oh, hey. Oh, hello. Oh dear, I've been so excited to meet you, Ambi. Um, I am Carla Lala. Please call me Carla or Lala or both. I run the Pet Emporium in town. We carry many useful items for cat owners, such as cat food or cat litter boxes. I hope you find time to pay us a visit. Um, thank you, I will. And be YouTube, I understand this might come as a surprise, but I'm actually a witch. In fact, quite a few garden witches live here in Catterwall. I'm sure they'll be happy to come visit. Paws in the pudding as well. Us witches tend to pay in scrumptious nectar. Any, many merchants at the food market enjoy it so much they'll only accept nectar as payment for their food recipes and ingredients. If you wish to stock paws in the pudding with new drinks and food, I recommend you advertise to witches and collect some nectar, Ambi YouTube. Personally, I look forward to visiting Paws in the Puddin' more often. I hope we can talk more. Then, all right, we unlocked a new resource. So she's one of our contacts, and we're going to make many different business contacts that can help us with different resources we need. Nectar will get you recipes and cooking appliances. And also, um, so it looks like she wants a... Uh, a pretzel but we don't have any so we're just gonna get her water so yeah if you don't have what they need you can just get them whatever you have it's just like when a business runs out of a certain thing they say we don't have that but we can give you this instead customer groups there are six different customer groups each has unique needs and and pays using a different resource so vagabonds pay in fabric Artists pay in jewels, punks pay in materials, witches pay in nectar, fisher folk pay in fish, business people pay in gold. Advertising to select which customer groups visit the cafe. It's going to be useful if you want to earn specific resources very quickly. The cat stats of this customer type are added together to meet the need, except for unhappy cats. Okay, so if your cat is unhappy, it won't contribute to meeting their needs. Furniture needs, there are many kinds of, so basically, yep, so they have a certain food they like, certain place they like to sit, they like to talk a certain way, uh, they, well, they want you to talk to them, they need space, they need um, social interaction, and they need furniture. So that's what all your customers need. So um, we've got a lot of people coming in here, 
And um, so we're gonna get this guy water. All uh, right, one minute, please. One moment, please. So I'm always kind of hanging out with this tray. Hi. A beautiful day to you, Ambi. Thank you. Come again. And uh, you can actually press the Y button next to the cat. And we can see if this guy is um, uh, what he, if he's, I forgot, inspect mode. There we go. So he's pretty happy. He's pretty happy. So uh, the fisherman types, they, um, dusk, set, uh, dusk sets when you hear a raspy meowing outside. When you open the door to see if it's a stray, a dark shape rushes into paws in the pudding. An ancient black cat sits in your cafe, gazing at you with big yellow eyes. Eek! Look at me, taking the effort to speak human, and you reply in mouse. No need to eek, little thing. I was a friend of your grandmother's. I'm surprised to find her cat cafe open for business. Your handiwork, I'm sure. The cats which have chosen to shelter here. Their paws are soft. Their tummies full. Their bristles bristly. This thing pleases me, little thing. I have something to show you. Follow, if you please. All right, so this is like a magical cat. And we're going to follow him to the forest. You follow the dark cat into a clearing, hidden deep in the woods. There, you find what looks like some sort of ancient shrine. Have you noticed, little thing, how your paws in the pudding and its cats have brought delight to the humans of Catterwall? For the sake of this shrine, I ask you that you continue to do so, fill their hearts with delight, and obtain their help in restoring this old shrine to its former glory. Pretty please, yes? Um, can I get something in return? Little thing is bringing delight to friendly folk. Is it not its own reward? The shrine is powerful for canny cat takers, such as yourself, little thing. As the shrine is restored, I'm sure you will enjoy bountiful benefits for your cafe and cats. To start, set a project for yourself. Each project requires goals to be met and certain amount of delight. Why don't you try starting a project now, little thing? I will find you after you've managed to make some progress. All right, so this is kind of like... Basically, these are upgrades and you have to wait. And so you have to upgrade at the shrine so you can upgrade your food. You can upgrade your drinks or sandwiches. You can upgrade how many cats. You can upgrade um, litter boxes. Let's see. We can upgrade um, the community notice board. adds one staff stock limit. Okay, so you can upgrade your staff and you can add more seats in your restaurant. And you can upgrade your uh, plants and types of furniture, such as pub furniture, um, American diner furniture, and tea room furniture. So, um, I think we should upgrade our food first so we can get more um, customers that like different kinds of food. So, we're going to go with that first. Alright, so that one's highlighted yellow and it's going to wait until we get 100 love points or delight points. So we can upgrade that next thing. Okay, and um, let's see if we can visit anywhere else at town. Looks like the rest of town is opened up. So um, let's go over to Pet Goods and see if we have any money to get that. First, I see uh, a stray lure. We can help bring more cats to our restaurant. So let's try that. And let's get a little food bowl. And that's all we can really get right now. Okay, and we already went to the shrine. Let's go to the market. So let's try getting a recipe that someone really likes. I think we should try, um, I think we should try coffee because that's what you usually get at a cafe. And we'll get some coffee beans. Um, maybe we will try, um, herbal tea and get some herbs and then... I guess we'll try regular tea 
and I don't have any money to get regular tea leaves because I, I got two things of coffee. So next time or even in the middle of the day, we can go back and get more of that. Oh, and we're going to need a coffee machine. So let's get a coffee machine. Okay, so yeah, these are three shop owners that you can go to right now. I don't know if you get more later on. I'm not sure. So this guy is kind of a rough uh, rebel, rebel kind of guy. And um, the other guy is a fisherman. And then we have a witch who sells you the cat stuff. So all kinds of different things you can get. Um, we can also get like a basic uh, chair or a pub chair. Or a magic chair so depending on oh okay so we could probably get one more one more chair maybe I think I'm gonna go right for mm, I think I'm gonna go right for um, I guess I'll get a basic chair that one looks good okay and later on we might get some more things I can get a basic table so there we go. So now we have one more chair and one more table. Okay, so let's see if we can actually build more since we got some more points. So let's see if we can um, build a little bit more this way. I'm going to try to extend my cafe maybe this direction. Oh, looks like it won't let me. All right, so we are going to add a coffee maker over here. And I'm going to add a um, table on this side, might as well. And we have one chair. So if someone wants to come on in, I can serve them. So yeah, as you guys can see, this starts very, very small. And this is about the size that you're going to start with. And you just have to kind of build from there. Eventually, you'll be able to have more people work here and be able to extend your cafe and have more and more um, things in it. So. All right, we got a cat lure, so let's put that out for the cat. And this did take me a while to figure out. You just have to place your lure right here. And you can buy basically a can of cat food. You put it out here, and then when the cats come by, well, you'll see when it happens. Oh, let's pet our cat over here. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> All right, skip to morning. All right, so... Oh, so Carla wasn't happy, and so um, we're going to need more nectar from her, so we're going to have to have more witchy things in the um, cafe eventually, so she'll be more happy. Also, she didn't get her pretzels, so making the kind of food that they like, even if you don't have the kind of um, furniture they like, if you make the food that they really like, that will help also. Alright, so we got um, three vagabonds and one witch. <laughs> Uh, those are our customers. And we just kind of hang out and wait for our customers to come in. Alright, and you have to make sure you get like pretty close to them and then just hold in Y to um, take their order. Oh, and she wants a pretzel and I don't have one. Uh, buy a stray lure. Use the town map to go to the pet shop. Buy a stray lure. Place the lure in the food bowl. There is food bowl on the street outside of your cafe. Put the stray lure in there to attract stray cats. Pet stray cats in order to gain trust and adopt. Several strays will show up and you can pet one of them and increase their trust. Keep them feeding and petting uh, the strays and once trust is filled up you can adopt them. You can only hold as many cats in your cafe as you have cat slots to hold them. You won't be able to adopt new strays if you are at your max of cats. To free up your space in your cafe, you have to give your cats a forever home. Go to the notice board in town to look for forever homes with the townsfolk. The adopters will look for a certain type of cat. They'll only adopt a cat with the stats they're looking for. When you give a cat a forever home, the happy adopters will give you a reward. If the cat exceeds the requirements, they'll show their appreciation by giving an even bigger reward. Oh, I didn't even realize that. So they actually give you something when you give away a cat. That's pretty cool. It's tough to run the cafe by yourself, so try hiring some staff to help out. Each staff member is good at different things. 
cat care, cooking, uh, fixing, service, cleaning. You will slowly earn staff training points, uh, which you will spend to level up your staff. Doing so will increase their stats. When you hire new members, you will first have to perform the staff hiring project at the shrine. Once this is done, go to the town's notice board where you will find many looking for a job notices. You'll only be able to hire just one staff member initially, but there are projects in the shrine to increase your staff slots. Okay, very cool. And, um... Alright, so this is our advertising right now. It says water and get familiar with our cats <laughs> so um i think that's kind of cute <laughs> don't have a familiar get familiar with our cats that's funny because familiar spirit is like uh, a spiritual helper for like witches and people that are you know into like sorcery and stuff so it's kind of they made a sorcery pun um and said hey you can have a don't have a familiar spirit animal come and check out our cats so yeah that's kind of cute all right so looks like we have a few cats here um i'm just going to press the pet button and now you can choose which cat you want to pet next um they're all super cute All right, so we're gonna try petting Brian the cat, and next time you can pet a different one, whatever you want. You can pet all of them. Um, you get to pet them once each time, but in reality, I I imagine myself giving them all love, but maybe I just like center on one cat each time, because I would hate to have three cats there and only pet one of them. So in my mind, I would basically. Um, yeah, I would basically um, pet all of them, but maybe I would uh, zone in on one cat, choose one cat to focus on. Alright, okay, so it looks like we have a spill over here. Alright, and sorry, no herbal tea, sorry about that. So I'm going to have to have a way that I can brew that. And to make new things, like I had to have a coffee beans, a recipe and a coffee maker to make the coffee. So, um, yeah, so you have to have a lot of different things and they all have to be working. Like if your coffee maker is working, but you have no coffee beans, you certainly can't make coffee. All right, so you can actually, I'll show you guys something interesting. You can actually leave in the middle of the day and get more ingredients. Uh, so let's go to town and we're gonna get more ingredients at the market so let's get the um, we have no herbs we have no regular tea so there we go oh I was gonna get the pretzel recipe but that's okay and we'll get um, let's see we have 36 left so maybe I'll, I'll wait so we can get the pretzel recipe later so as long as I have about five that should tide me over All right, so this lady really wants a pretzel, but at least I can get her herbal tea. Um, so I can kind of see she's not happy. Um, she's not in a good mood. She really wanted a pretzel, so she's upset. Hi, I hope it's okay to say the work you're doing here is inspiring, honestly. Thanks so much. Hey, no problem. I mean it. I'm Finley. I, uh, I make music. Not like for money, unless you count my mom's Patreon sub. Oh, she's saying her mom subbed to her on Patreon? That's hilarious. That's one reason I really like this game, is there's all this subtle humor that, if you really think about their joke, it's actually really funny. And you don't catch it right away, and it's like, oh my gosh, she's saying her mom is her only sub on Patreon? That's really funny, actually. But you didn't think there'd be many artists in Catterwall. Lots of creative uh, folk move here to focus on work. Pause in the puddins, chill. I bet they'd love it. Us artists can hook up with jewels. Can hook you up with jewels. The craftsmen over at Gruff Decorations charge jewels for most of their furniture. So if you're looking to furnish your cafe, advertise to artists and get some jewels, okay? 
So basically, you have to make food that artists enjoy. And if you make food that artists enjoy, then they will pay you with jewels and then you can get better furniture. Do you happen to have any coffee? If not, don't forget to buy the coffee machine at Gruff's after you buy the recipe. I really enjoy working on my stuff here and I hope uh, I can get to know you a little better too, if that's cool with you. That's cool with me. Well, next time then. Okay, thank you, Finley. All right, unlock new resource, jewels. Jewels are used to buy factory furniture. I mean, fancy furniture, I meant to say. All right, so here are regulars. Making a wonderful cat cafe is important, of course, but so is making friends along the way. Regulars are colorful townsfolk who will keep visiting your cafe. As they visit and gain delight, you'll fill their friendship bar. Every time this fills up, you'll go up a friendship level. Certain shrine upgrades are also uh, locked until you reach a certain friendship level with any one of your regulars. Regulars will often visit on their own, but if you want to meet a specific person, use the phone booth outside of your cat cafe to give them a call. Alright, so we can actually call um, them, I think, over here at the phone booth. Alright, so let's see if we can pet one of our cats. Alright, so we can pet a different one or we could just um, pet the um, Brian again. We'll put this one over here, Nitko, or I'm sorry, Nico. I read that wrong, Nico. And we don't have um, any more of that. So let's go visit the town map and go to pet goods and get another one. She doesn't have anything else to sell us right now. All right, so we can actually get the pretzel recipe right now. And um, we don't have any resources for it, but we we know since we bought that pretzel, it, bread popped up over there on our ingredients list, and we know that we need bread to make pretzels. So when we get 30 of the, the um, potion points, then um, we can do that. All right, so I'm going to go back to my cat cafe and put out the lure. Oh, this, oh, I forgot. She's waiting. It's nice to see the old cat cafe open again, but wasn't this just like a field? It was. We just made it out of thin air. Oh, the kitty is so cute. I took a picture. It's cute. All right, so um, also they said we can upgrade our staff. So the only staff I have right now is me. So I guess I will train myself and I'm going to train my cooking skills. And I guess I'm going to train my serving skills also. So that should help. Okay, that's all I have for right now. And I'm going to skip to the morning. I still have two chair slots available so I can actually get more tables and chairs and have more customers so the witch really wants pretzel and um, okay so she wants a cat that's that that she can relate to also so the cat's personalities are gonna um, affect everything and looks like Finley wasn't too excited either um, okay. Well, we're just gonna do the best we can. We can't please everyone, that's for sure. Oh, and here comes, um, Bonner. Hello, Emmy YouTube. Figured it'd come uh, check in, see how you doing. Alright, I don't know what I'm doing accent I'm doing with this guy. I really have no idea. How you been then? Um, it's hard work, but I want to make Grand proud. Ye outdo yourself, young lady, at this rate, Ambi YouTube. I'm sure she's more proud than ye can fathom. Say, I've been ta talking to some of the fisher folk friends. They say they're keen to visit Port and the Pudding, Ambi YouTube. Fisher folk are like myself, a straightforward folk who sometimes prefer paying in fish. 
don't give me that look. It's a town tradition. Thing being, Carla, Lala of the Pet Emporium, can use all the fish she can get with her witchy hands on. Sells the finest cat wares for the fish alone. So if you want to treat your cats or buy lures to attract new ways, you might want to advertise to fisher folk or catch yourself some fish. Like they say, teach a man to befriend a fisherman and they'll have fish for a lifetime. Ha ha ha. Teach a man to befriend a fisherman. Oh, I see. All right, fish is used to buy food and furniture for your cats. Yeah, it's supposed to be teach a man to fish, but or you can befriend a fisherman. That works too. So I try to take care of the regulars right away. Um, I kind of uh, forgot that Finley was still in the store, or I would have given her her um, food right away. So. Oh, and we can go out and pet um, a cat over here. So, um, I guess we'll pet this one and then we'll concentrate on one that we want to um, try for. This one is very affectionate, so alrighty then. And that lady really liked her tea. We got a mess to clean up here and... Hope you like it, Caterwall, so far, and YouTube. It tends to grow on ye. Thank you, Bonner. And we don't have any cat litter boxes, so our cat is going to mess up the floor. So we do have to kind of, like, um, fix that. Alright. So, people coming in and out all day here see what this lady wants. Oh, no pretzels. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. Oh, but I think we already took the order, so... And I don't have any um, magic points to get her a pretzel, so um, I'll have to do that later. So, it looks like the... Um, I don't know who play pays in potion points, but... Um, yeah, we have to get more of that to get more food, basically. Alright, so these guys are pretty easy. They just want a water. Alright, I'm gonna take this guy's order. And yeah, it's kind of the kind of game where you you can listen to music while you're playing this game or Honestly, the music is super chill, and it's really happy, fun environment. So, um, you know, it doesn't... It's the kind of game that you, you know, really don't get bored playing. Okay, so we're going to get bread, and now that we got the resources we need, we'll actually be able to give this lady her pretzel that she wants. So hopefully she'll be happy. She's happy. This guy's pretty happy. Alright, so which cat should we go for? The one that's a party animal, the one that has um, cleanup ability, or the one that's um, lovable? Um, so I guess we'll try the one that's clean. I, we'll try Brian. He's very cute. And then we'll go for the other ones. And you can always increase their stats um, to other things later. So. I'm going to get more of the canned food for my cats, except for I don't have tons of money to get it yet. So I am probably out of tea leaves, but I don't really have the money to get it yet, so... And we already have a coffee machine. Um, I think I'm going to get one um, nice table so we can replace the basic table. So I'm going to get that. And we're gonna put another lure out here and let's see if anyone else needs some food. Are you guys good? Okay, this uh, customer is happy. Aww, and this guy's happy too. Yay! 
So let's actually level up our staff points. I'm going to try to train my character so that, um, let's see, I want her to um, be better at fixing things maybe. Okay, so I'll train that the rest of it later. And let's see if we can actually um, build more onto the, the cafe. Looks like we don't have any more resources to build. So we, we are not able to yet. Aww. But we can um, move the furniture. So, all right, so we're gonna move the furniture that we have. This one I'm gonna put in the inventory and I'm actually going to bring out this table instead. So now we have two nice tables. Um, so that should be pretty good. I don't really know what kind of table that is. And we'll give this cat a pet, okay. All right, we're gonna skip to morning. All right, so I don't really know what the witches want. When the witches come to see me, they're not very happy. So, um, yeah, I don't really know what they want there. It says I have two more uh, chair points, but I don't have any more chairs. So, um, I don't know. I'm gonna put one more food bowl over here. Uh, because I don't know sometimes I seem to run out of food so there we go in case in case our kitty runs out of food um, he's got plenty more there ah, hey, hey. all right we've got a new guy over here a mysterious uh -huh. stranger drifts into Catterwall collecting the town street cats under one roof driven by what Richard witchery madness business acumen uh, driven by my grandma, I guess. Ah, aren't we all in the same way? Siri, please note that in the kind of cool stuff I've said, but don't quite understand list. Thanks, babe. <laughs> After you left the city, you thought you'd never see someone talk to their phone assistant again. You figure there's always that one guy. <laughs> Named Mateo, friendo. You must be a a uh, business person. You know, I'm somewhat a, a business person myself. Business people are just looking to blow off some steam from their high pressure and very important jobs and don't mind spending some valuable gold. Deluxe furniture can only be purchased using gold. Obviously, if you want the good stuff, best advice to business, advertise to business people. Siri, please add pause in the put-in to the hey, that's neat list. Also, Add pause in the put in to the hey cats list. Thanks, sweetheart. I'll uh, definitely pop back in here later, friendo. Now back to the grind with you. Toodles. Okay, so this guy talks pretty fast and has a lot to say. Unlock new resources. Gold. Gold is used to buy extra special items. Oh, kidoki. All right, so um, we got him his what he wanted real fast. So as you progress the game, you're going to get more and more special people. So um, basically business contacts. So that guy helps you understand and get more contacts for business people. So we've got um, a new cat here that we haven't petted yet. This is um, Missy. Uh, okay, and then we have the orange cat and the Siamese one. Stay productive, uh -huh. Ambi YouTube. <laughs> so they all have very unique personalities. So hopefully this witch will be happy with her pretzel. Er, kitty is so happy. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, like, what I like about this game is it's just really chill. It's a really fun game to just hang out and play by yourself, like, uh, after work or when you first get up or whatever to just, like, if you're, like, a zombie like me and you have your coffee and you're just trying to wake up, um, this is a great game to wake up to. It's really happy and fun. Oh, and we unlocked something at the cat shrine, so that's exciting. I'm going to return to the cafe because I want to get this guy his um, coffee. And yep, the cats will hop on the customers and stuff like that. 
so we're gonna go to the cat shrine and so we got new kinds of food um maybe next time we can get more staff let's see if that's possible okay so we're gonna try getting more staff next that's gonna be our next thing that we unlock all right so let's see what kind of um food is possible here we already have all right so let's try root beer and we don't have any money to buy a root beer, but we'll have to get that next time. Uh, I'm just gonna get um, another lure and um, I do need more chairs of that eventually, but I don't have any right now for that. And we need a fridge eventually if we're gonna have root beer and stuff. So we'll have to cross that bridge when it comes to it basically. So basically there are VIP customers that we get to know who, you know, really, like there's the guy who um, helps with business things, there's the witch lady, and there's the art artsy girl. Um, so all of the different people, they, they help with um, different parts of the business. Let's see. Yeah, so I mean this game is just super relaxing and fun. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe I'll end up doing more kind of just kind of hangout games like this. Um, I have heard there's some games that people are playing recently that are similar to Cat Cafe. Not that you make a cafe, but they're super chill, just like this game. So maybe I'll take a look at some of those uh, during the week, either uh, at noon or 3 o'clock. Um, it gives me time to basically record a few videos in one day, and then I can uh, have a day off during the time where the videos go up. So I appreciate you guys um, watching and please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps the channel out tremendously. Thanks everyone. Alright, so I think we already have... Did we adopt the, the other cat, Brian? I don't remember. Okay, so I'm going to try the... Let's see, this is Deborah and let's go with Nico. He seems pretty fuzzy and fun. I thought I adopted a second cat, but I don't know where the other cat went. That's weird. Alright, so we're actually going to upgrade our cats a bit. Um, thank you, come again. And I'm going to put another lure out here. Uh, I'm going to upgrade, do my cat upgrade. So let's go to Pumpkin. And I'm going to train him. So I think this is cleanliness and um, how much food I'm not sure I'm not sure what those upgrades are actually oh here we go okay so he doesn't really need that uh, they tend to vibe okay so looks like they're not too stressed out they they're not very they don't stress out easily so that's good he's very chill that's good. That's a good um, thing in a cat. That's kind of what people want cats around. They help them de-stress um, and stuff like that. Okay, so we're going to go to... Okay, so this is our menu so far. Um, so it looks like this is something that um, basically um, witches like. And... Oh, right. Okay, I remember what this is. So our cat right now... Um, he has traits for fishermen and for plant people. I don't know who plant people are. Let's see. Um, yeah, I forgot who the plant people are. I think that, um, let's go to advertising. So vagabonds. Okay. So these are the, these are the, basically I don't know. Okay, so vagabonds and fishermen are different. These are vagabonds. Um, business people are the business thing. These are fishermen. Artists are over here and witches. And then there's one other category we haven't done yet. So we're advertising for all of them. All right. 
And eventually we are going to have to get better furniture for our cafe. We kind of have some rusty old chairs. So eventually we're going to have to replace it, but we're doing the best we can for now. So once you get a few uh, extra things of cash, like we just had a customer come in. She's probably going to pay with um, resources to get certain things. So once they pay, then we can actually go out and get some uh, more stuff that we need. Um, you really do want to kind of attract uh, business people eventually because they are going to pay with cold hard cash Which is always good sometimes fishermen pay with fish and stuff like that. So oh there comes um, our uh, So not that the same cats don't come every time All right, so what should this guy's name be? Um, uh, I think midnight would be a cute name. Uh, I don't know Yep, if you guys have any cute cat names, leave them in the comments um, below. So if you guys have a name of your cat, maybe I will name some of the cats in the series after your cat. Or if you have a cute name you like for a cat, like Fluffy or something like that. Oh, it looks like um, this uh, witch lady likes the black cat, so that makes sense. So if we get more seats in the, um, if we get more seats here, then more people will eventually come in. So that will be good. Aww, the cats were kind of curled up next to each other. That was cute. Cats are so sweet. And this game is, feels like when you're sitting next to a cat. It's very relaxing. And, you know, you know, me uh, working from home and... Sometimes having too many things to do or just trying to figure out a schedule definitely can get stressful and this game really calms me down. So from one person who gets stressed about different things like bills and everything, this game really does calm me down a lot. It's very um, easy going and it's, it's a lot of fun. And the fact that it's not too expensive helps the stress levels as well. Oh hey, hey new kid, you're doing that thing people do to me when they want to chat. Uh, where they open their mouth and words tumble at me? That thing? I'm Arwell. Don't bother introducing yourself, okay? Won't take long before you're out of here, anyway. Happy to meet ya. Smiling, that doesn't hurt at all. You wouldn't take much of, um, of a punk. That's right, I'm a punk. You know a couple other punks, too. We're pretty cool. Me and my punk pals, we're low on cash, but we scrounge up lots of sweet materials. And if you want to expand this dump, you're going to need yourself some materials. At least, that's what I'd say if I wanted to give helpful yet slightly obnoxious advice. You're not the worst. You can tumble words at me later if you like. So, he's always like got a chip on his shoulder, but he means well. Uh, materials are spent on construction of your cafe. So, he will eventually, when he comes to order at the cafe, he'll pay with like materials, bricks, wood, and stuff like that, so I can um, make the floor bigger, because right now we're in a very small area, so. And I believe he, he is the one that actually um, runs the uh, furniture store also. Finley, that girl with the copyright infringing hairstyle, she, uh, she can't come here often? Copyright infringing hairstyle? Wow. Yeah, he's Arwell is pretty funny. I think that's his name, Arwell. Yeah, I'm 90% sure. All right, and we got some more cats to pet over here. Give these guys a little pet here. All right, we're gonna close that up and eventually we won't be able to uh, adopt any more cats because we'll be at our limit, so we'll have to give some more cats away. Okay, so we already have this and we're gonna need another cat, um, cat lure. Okay. Okay, so bottled um, root beer. 
And then the next things that we need to get are herbs and tea leaves. And eventually we're going to need to get these recipes. So we really need some, um, we need some of those points for the, um, so let's actually see, um, I'm just going to see what kind of points I need. Let's see the advertising. So I'm going to need witch points, which means I need more nectar. So we really want to advertise to witches. We might want to put some furniture that they like in the store and some other things like that. So they can give us some more of that. All right. Very cute. And you unlocked the community notice, select a new pro uh, project. So we unlocked upgrading to add more uh, staff. All right, so I think after we added more staff, let's see if we can add, um, I think we're gonna need more seats in our cafe. I want more chair limit eventually. So we want more people to be able to come in the cafe. So we just got some stuff from, um, let's see here. So I kind of forgot how to look back at the different contacts we have, but that's all right. I'll always, uh, I'll check that later. Let's see if we can actually build more of our cat cafe and extend it a little further. So because, um, the, okay, so actually I'm going to delete this. All right, and then we are going to add the wallpaper on there. So I think I can actually sell some um, decorations if I want to. Well, I can't really sell much right now. Okay, so I don't really have much to sell, so we're just gonna skip right to morning then. Okay, yeah, Arwell. I called him Arval. Arwell. Yep. So we do want to make him happy so we can upgrade our business a little bit more. So eventually we can put a chair over here whenever we get that um, money for that. And looks like somebody made a mess outside of uh, the restaurant, so I'm going to take care of that. This guy, so these are vagabonds, so I kind of got them confused. I kind of thought they were the same category, but it's actually vagabond and, um, vagabond and uh, fisherman. Two different categories of people. So we are going to need a fridge if we want to sell root beer. So we have the recipe for root beer. We have the root beers. We don't have any way to keep them cold. Hello. Okay. So let's try, uh, let's see what it would be. Let's see what it would be like to adopt a, this honestly looks like a Siamese cat. Um, Um, I'm actually going to name this after, um, I don't know if Luke will ever see this video if he has time, but, um, Luke's sister's cat who we used to spend a long a lot of time with him was named Chloe. And, um, so I'm going to name her Chloe. I can't adopt her yet though. She's ready for adoption. So when I open it up, when I have enough room for more cats, um, then I'll be able to adopt her. Oh, never mind. I can adopt her. Good. Okay. I was thinking it wouldn't let me, so it did. Okay, so we adopted Chloe, the part Siamese cat. And the reason why I think she looks part Siamese, she just kind of looks Siamese, but I could be wrong about that. So we've got three cat, a black cat, an orange cat, and a Siamese cat. So we're really going to need a litter box at some point. Alright, so let's go to the store. 
as soon as I give this guy his tea, because I don't really want them sitting there forever. All right, I'm gonna go to town and we're gonna look at the furniture. So we will need a basic fridge and probably a chair. So let's get the fridge first. And then if we have money for a chair, we can get a chair. So I'm just gonna get a pub chair because it's comfortable. All right, so that, uh, let's see. We're actually, we can actually decorate the, um, we can, we can decorate the cafe right now. So I'm going to decorate it and we're going to add the pub chair over here and I'm going to add the fridge. I'm just going to put it right here. And now I should be able to get root beer for people if they do want to order it. Okay, so it looks like something came up. There's a little notice over here. All right, so something came up. There's a little notice over here. So let's um, ring a regular. So that's what they're called. I was going to call them VIPs, but um, I think I'm going to call Bonner over and see what he has to um, give me. <laughs> Ah, you sound ready for a story coming right up. All right, and as I was over here, I noticed we have a spill outside to kind of take care of that. The customers are upset if you don't take care of the messes, so you do want them to be happy. So we have three cats in here, no litter box, which probably isn't the best. Oh, hello, Bonner. I'm outside petting the cats. So which cat should we pet next? I, I feel like this guy looks really happy and then we'll get the other one later. So, oh, looks like I can't adopt him yet. Yeah, so sometimes they come in, they hang out for a while and then after that they kind of, uh, you know, they'll say like, oh, you're doing really well with your um, cat cafe and I'm proud of you. I'm gonna give you a special gift. Hello, Amy YouTube. How are you faring today? I got to say, you strike me as a real adventurous type. Real leap before you look kind of sort. That's right. I love to leap. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Reminded me of myself as a youth. You do? Ah, oh, I miss old uncertainty. Just me, big dumb brain and the seal. Brilliant. I can tell we'd be like shipmates in no time, you and I. Say, ye wouldn't have to be thirsty for a story, would ye? I am filled up to my beard with them. What story would you want to hear? I want to hear a bizarre adventure. Ha ha! Why did I even ask? Let me think. Ah, I once found myself in a pursuit of a treasure. Problem was, I was quite lost. As lost as a, a sailor is in a grocery store. Ah, anyway, so I was lost in a grocery store. Looking for pomegranates, you see. Uh, Gavin, uh, my husband was upset and nothing comforts a man like a pommy mimosa. Didn't find the blasted fruit though. Defeated I went home and there was Gavin all smiles fixing me up a gimlet. Poor lad had to cheer me up. Ha ha. That wasn't exciting, was it? Um, I'm still reeling. Ha ha. My stores tend to do that to folks. I best let you get back to work and be seeing ye and be and we got a piece of art so that will help artists and it looks like um, the fisherman wants pretzel and ham sandwich yep so he will want a ham sandwich in the near future so it's really hard to actually get um, like the ham sandwich and everything like you might it might take you a while before you're able to get all the resources for that so don't like be pressured that you have to get all that Alright, so let's, uh, first of all, we're gonna see, maybe we can build a little bit more. Looks like we can build one more. That was all we could build. And honestly, let's, um, let's change up the look of our place. Why not? It doesn't cost anything to use the wallpaper. And we can put a little bit of artwork on the, um, all right. Looks pretty cool. 
I'm gonna go to town and we're gonna get some more things that we need. So it looks like we're really out of uh, regular tea leaves. And that was all we could really afford to get. So we really need more nectar, which means we have to um, make as, you know, we have to impress witches that wanna come. So we need basically the food that they want, which honestly, um, I should probably get a magic chair to bring in witches. But it doesn't really go the re with the rest of my furniture, so I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, we could try it. I don't know. Okay, I guess I'll just get a magic chair just because. Alright, so maybe they will be happy with that. Um, we'll see. Alright, the next thing we're opening up is for more seats in our cafe. And then after that, we'll try to open it up for more cats, I think. would be kind of cute. So let's see if we can actually, um, let's see if we can actually hire somebody for a job. The Earth Mother has told me to. Okay, that sounds really weird on an es on a resume. Okay, so we're actually going to hire one more person. And he, oh, he... He's better when it comes to... I think that little magic thing means he's more attuned to magic kind of things. So I don't know if we can hire somebody else or not. Um, let's try it. Okay, so we can't hire another person. So that was our only person right now. So I have one more person helping me out a little bit. That's good. And, um... Alright, so we'll actually we can put this... Um, magic chair over here and we'll see if any witches or people that like magic will come by we're going to train um i'm gonna train myself first okay i think i want myself to be better at cooking so i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna do one cleaning point there and then i'm gonna train um our newest hiree zach and give him better serving techniques uh, pet my kitty. Cats. Pet the cats. Aw, so cute. Alright, so basically, you really can't go wrong with this game. It seems really complicated, but the more you just keep getting different kinds of food and different kinds of furniture, uh, more people will want to come into your cafe. And you will be upgrading things and making it look really nice. So, yeah, you really can't go wrong with that. Um, I'm just going to make sure we have... Um, all the same color on the walls because okay all right it just looks weird over here so that's fine and let's upgrade our cats so this is our first one pumpkin so honestly I think we want to attract um, witches because we need we need them so we're gonna give um, pumpkin witch points and all right, Midnight is already attuned to witches since uh, he's a black cat, and there's Chloe, um, who is good with, I think, food? I have sharing food. I don't really know what that trait is. All right, um, I'm just... We're going to go to the next day. You are up at your cat limit. Okay, so we're going to have to give one of our cats away. Alright, so we're actually going to go to the board, which is in town, and we're going to see if anyone needs a cat. So, looks like uh, we have a witch looking for a cat, so let's, let's give her um, pumpkin, maybe? All right, and because of that, we got our um, project finished over at our um, our spirit board or whatever that's called. Awesome. So we lost one of our cats. Um, looks like this cat is looking, or this lady is looking for a cat. They have more than enough brothers and sisters to play with. Let's see if we are able to give her a cat. Honestly, um, Chloe looks cute. A 
Okay, so, um, that looks pretty, really cute. Looks like I... Okay, I don't really know if I'm able to... Where is Chloe? Oh, I only have one cat left. Okay. Midnight is the only cat I have left. Oops, I gave Chloe away, so I don't want to give Midnight away also. All right, we're gonna chat up a storm with these customers over here. So they do, like, it's whatever the customers want to be happy. So even chatting with them gets you as many points as feeding them. So if you think, like, oh, I don't have time to talk because I need to feed my customers, like, it's basically the same. Um, it's important to talk to them and feed them. All right, so I think my employee, Zach, has it underway. I'm just going to um, ring a regular, and let's... Um, honestly, we've already called Bonner. Let's get Mateo in here. Hi, hello. Clearing up my schedule for you, friendo. And hopefully we can adopt a, um, a cat again. So we're going to keep um, petting like all the cats that we can and keep adopting them. So we're able to, I think Nico is a cute name, so we're going to keep it. Um, I don't know, Orange Blossom would be a cute name, but that sounds weird. Okay, so I'm just going to take care of my customers over here. And the more you upgrade, the more you're able to, um, you're able to do it a little bit faster when you're helping your customers. So right now it's pretty slow when I'm talking to them. Um, so this skill, it's two out of four, um, which means I've practiced that skill a lot. I've made that kind of tea many times. So the more you make it, the faster you'll get at it. And you can also upgrade it in the skill tree. So my employee will not be as fast as me, but he does help because he can go do something while I'm doing it. Even if I'm over here making it, he can actually serve it while I'm making it. So that's kind of, or right after I make it, he can come serve it right after that. So yeah, so it, it it's really easy for the employees to work together and get things done. Hey, uh, hello, howdy, top of the morning. I'm focused uh, testing new greetings. Well, that's my new cat, Nico, and we've got Nico and Midnight. So I feel kind of, one thing I don't know if I like too much is you have to say goodbye to a lot of the cats. Maybe you could keep one or two and then um, basically, you know, I'll only give away certain ones, but keep ones that you really want around. But so far, so far I've kind of been giving them away. All right, so let's train our staff. First of all, I'm gonna train myself first. And I'm gonna give myself better um, cooking ability. And then we're gonna train Nico and give him better serving ability. Um, so he's better at like um, moving the, the stuff to the table. And it just means you're a little faster at it. Okay. And let's make sure we don't have any messes around here. I don't think so. Okay, before, we're also going to upgrade some of our cats here. So, I guess we'll make uh, this cat better with witches, I don't know, but honestly, um, uh, we can also probably train this cat when we get a chance. Nico and Midnight. Alright, I keep pushing that button, but I need to go to town, and let's get our furniture for... Alright, so... We can't really get a lot here, but I am going to get um, a basic chair so we can add more chairs. We already have a coffee machine, so we don't really need that. We can also get windows. Um, I don't really know if that adds anything to the, to, the, um, to the cafe. Like, sometimes it gives people more points. So it's not saying you get more points if you add more windows, so I'm not going to waste my money on that. 
and let's go and uh, get some stuff at market. So we have no bread, no coffee beans. So we really need coffee beans and we need bread. All right, so to get all the points for food, we're really gonna need to impress the witches in the um, in the city so they can come in and um, give us more resources to buy food. All right, so yeah, the game does kind of go a little bit slow like you would think um, that you know, you would go a little bit faster, but honestly, it's super relaxing, like I was saying, and I don't mind if it's a little slow paced. It puts more longevity into playing the game. So let's see what fisher folk really want. They want pretzel. Um, they want cooking skill to be at least two. And they want cats that are into fisher folk. So you can actually upgrade your cat to get along with fisher people better. Um, they also want more plants, so we end up we should add some plants and upgrade our cats and uh, Make sure we get them a pretzel and a ham sandwich eventually so that will impress the fisher folk a little bit better All right, we've got a customer coming right in already And then when you upgrade, you can choose to, you know, upgrade yourself or you can upgrade, um, you know, you can upgrade your employee, whichever one you want. And I forgot to go to the shrine. So honestly, I forgot when you always want something to be going on here. So let's upgrade how many cats we can have because I love cats. So we want more cats. And eventually we'll upgrade what kind of plants we can have and things like that. That way we can attract fisher folk. Alright, so for now I'm just chatting with this guy and we'll pet whatever cats are over here. Alright, and we've got another cat, Missy. I think that name is cute. So we will adopt Missy. I think that's super cute. So we've got Missy the cat. Yay! All right, so we're going to need to go get a... Oh, we didn't have any... Um, so we need to pay in... Um, I kind of forgot what we pay her in. Okay, so... Yeah, we don't have any more of that, but that's okay. We're going to go to the shrine over here and we already have it unlocked for another cat I guess okay are you want to start with stray lures project um yes I do so we're gonna try to unlock more cats um, actually you know what I lied we can actually change our project. I'm going to go over here and let's try to unlock better furniture. So we'll, we'll do the, we already unlocked the more cats. Um, we will unlock the better furniture first. Okay. So it looks like my employee was helping out with a lot of things while I was kind of hanging out. So I believe that the game kind of continues in real time, even if you have to leave. So you don't want to leave the cafe and just sit there um, all day at the store somewhere else. You do want to make sure you're taking care of your cafe. Oh wow, we're upgrading pretty fast. All right, so it looks like we really do need ham sandwiches. Let's upgrade that, and then after that we'll worry about the cats, um, litter boxes, etc. And all that stuff we need to upgrade. And yeah, again guys and gals, I don't know, my I kind of lost my voice this week. But I'm going to try my best to um, have as much tea as I can, and hopefully it'll get better for the other episodes. But I hope you guys are doing great today. If you guys are just coming in, don't forget to um, subscribe if you're new, turn on all notifications, and um, like the video for, um, it will really help us out tremendously. Oh, hello.
clearing up my schedule for you, friendo. See you soon. All right, so here is um, the, let's see, the, the business guy. Hopefully he'll give us some more good business resources. So I think that um, I did play this game a little bit and I was messing around with it. And I think um, one of my problems was that I didn't, um, you really want to specifically choose what resources you need and you want to see, um, you can kind of wing the game, like you don't really have to look into what you need for your cafe, you can just kind of do it however you want. But you can also look and see what you need, like fishermen are not happy at your cafe, so what do they need? They need to have sandwiches, they need cats that enjoy being on fishermen, and they need like certain things to make them happy, they need plants. So you really want to try to zone in on what category of people are not happy and what you need to improve so that more of them will come to your cafe. So um, if you really want to go hardcore into the game like that, then you can definitely, um, you know, look into what they need when the report comes at the day and it says they're not happy and really try to make an effort to do that so you can get more fishermen in your cafe. Uh, Siri tells me today's International Bountiful Breaks Day. Uh, fake corporate holidays aside, looks to me like you've earned yourself a little break, bud. So corporate fake holidays, oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Uh, honestly, I could uh, probably use a few more breaks myself, but you know all about that hustle life, am I right? Um, what sort of work do you do? I'm the founder of Mateo, and Mateo Management means we have a conducive CMS systems. Now, rather than boring both of us by explaining what that even means, Siri Babe, hit us up with a jingle. Mateo, Mateo and Mateo Management Systems means fills your content management system dreams. Yeah! Okay, that was a little weird, but I guess that's supposed to be a jingle. A CMS so hot, so cool. It smokes... Oh my gosh, and skip school. Oh wow, okay, that was interesting. TM, we're a, we're a small business, but that we is really just me at this point, but we, that is I, do okay for ourselves, which is myself. In fact, uh, a while back, we landed a big new client, Hawkable Acquisitions. I've been helping them set up here in Catterwall. We're going to drag this little town into the 21st century, baby. Hawkable can be a bit hawkish, client, though. It's been uh, a bit stressful. Speaking of stress, you got me wondering, does Ambi YouTube have any hobbies? Um, I've got a lot of hobbies. Oh, right. I was actually wondering that, but still, the question stands. Terrific! It's important to find needlessly elaborate ways to get your mind off work, isn't it? Me, I've got too many of those uh, things. Uh, Geocaching, uh, extreme ironing, competitive duck herding. Actually, I got this sweet do-it-yourself kumbacha kit. I can't wait to sit there and wait for my stinky drink to grow mold or whatever. Um, cats are my hobby. I warn you to mind your work-life balance, but cat life balance is a whole other thing. Honestly, I spend more time online buying stuff to start new hobbies than actually doing any of them. Maybe finding new hobbies is my hobby. Whoa, mind blown. Siri, add that to my not sure if it's totally okay or existential crisis list. Just add it to direct below. I still find uh, toots funny. Thanks, babe. Suddenly, Mateo's phone rings with a sound of incessant buzzing. Oh, big bad client time. I gotta get this into YouTube. Mateo's phone conversations quickly devolve into a landslide of inscrutable buzzwords. You leave him be. Wow. Wow. Okay, so it looks like he really wants Italian espresso and cold brew. So that guy's going to bring in the cold hard cash, a business guy. And uh, the townsfolk are filled with delight with helping, have helped a lot in restoring the cat shrine. You decide to go take a look. A pair of eyes. 
peer at you from the edge of the clearing. Greetings once more, little thing. I see you have taken my advice to heart. An unexpected turn of events. Humans tend to ignore a cat's advice, Nyan. As a reward, I will answer but one of the little thing's questions, which no doubt quiver upon its inquisitive lips, Nyan. Why is the shrine so important? The shrine itself is of little importance. What the shrine stands for, however, is many moons ago, the shrine was built by humans, humans like yourself, but a cruder, ruder sort. And first, they wished to simply share the valley with the cats that already called it their home. But they built the shrine to remind themselves of that fact. But it came to mean a lot more, Nyan. Meow. Sometimes I wish for the humans of this valley to remember. For restoring the shrine, you deserve my thanks. I shall place my dead birds at your door. Uh, okay. A kill accepting human is not a good human in my book. Not that I can write. Ah, uh, that is enough questions for meow. I will seek you out again, once the shrine is looking more restored. And one more thing, little thing. Keep your eyes on those hawks, those hawkable acquisitions, humans. It is not the first time since humans came to this valley, and it did not end well that time either. Rather than leave, it seems as if the light in the clearing fades for a moment, after which the black cat is simply, oh, sorry, gone. Oh, that's him. He was monologuing. Okay, I was like, why did he monologue himself? That's weird. All right, we'll make sure that there are nothing here that got outside. No messes. All right, so we really, uh, depending on what we want in our cafe, we need to have more customers of certain types to come in. But I think that is a good um, stopping point for now. Um, yep, so this uh, cafe is super cute. This game is adorable, and I hope to do another episode soon. These um, episodes will probably be around an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half because it will replace my usual stream for the day. So thanks again, guys and girls, for watching. I really do appreciate um, everyone hanging out. And uh, don't forget to um, like the video if you can and um, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on all those notifications. And thanks again for watching, everyone. I will see you guys around 5.30 Eastern time for our next stream today. And uh, have a wonderful day, everyone. God bless and happy gaming. Thanks for watching. See ya.